and you're listening to Communities Live on Sheffield Live Radio, 93.2 FM, with me, Susie Casson. T-Boy. And we've joined with two guests at the moment. We've got Harry. Hello. And Rob Turner from Macmillan. Hello. Hi, Rob. Thanks for coming in. No problem. Nice to be here. So, first, can you tell us a little bit about Macmillan and the services it offers? Absolutely, yes. So, Macmillan provides practical, medical, emotional and financial support for people affected by cancer. We aim to support the patients, the families, the carers and the communities that that affects. So... The work that we do, obviously we have 141 Macmillan professionals in South Yorkshire, so many of those are nursing posts, but there are also things like speech therapists, there could be a Macmillan GP, there could be um, a support planner, there could be a welfare benefits advisor. So the support, obviously many people might think is particularly medically based, but it might be also other aspects of support as well. Um, we also provide people with financial support, so we give people uh, patient grants, so that might be for things like um, a new washing machine, travel to treatment, to help them pay their energy costs. Um, and also we, we provide people with lots of information and support, obviously, for the, for the whole family. So it's quite a, a varied charity in terms of what support that we try and offer to people. Yeah, fantastic. So <laughs> what is your role at Macmillan and what's a typical day like for you? Uh, my role is, so I'm the local fundraising manager and I cover both Sheffield and Chesterfield in what I do. So a typical day, that's an interesting one. It's my, my first week back this week after a week away and I'm uh, so far I've done in this week we've launched a book which we're going to talk about uh, in a little bit of a while. I've been and done a talk to uh, a local college. Uh, I'll then be going to the volunteer centre to find out about how we can work with them to get more volunteers to help and support us. Uh, and later on I'll be speaking to people who are organising uh, some fundraising events for us at Halloween one actually. So um, it's uh, I would say it's it's a very varied role, um, uh, but obviously for a cause I'm personally very passionate about. Yeah, fantastic, very busy. Um, so you mentioned the book. The book is Distance No Object, Sheffield's Man with the Pram. Can you tell us a bit about the author? Well, the author of the book is a gentleman called John Burkill. Now, to many of your listeners, you probably might not know his name, but you certainly would know him if you saw him. He is a very unique figure around Sheffield. He pushes a pram around the streets of Sheffield. He wears a green wig, uh, uh, waves a giant Macmillan foam hand and wears a green T-shirt. Now, he's aged 77, and he has raised £350,000 for this charity. He's also done over 960 races at time of interview, uh, and also um, he's done the London Marathon 16 times. So it's fair to say he's pretty active uh, in the community. Uh, he does this in all weathers, the wind, the rain, the snow, all sorts, and he's known very affectionately locally as the Mad Walker. Now, John... Uh, came to me two years ago and said that he'd like to write a book about his life and what he's done because I think many people know what he does with the racing side of it but they don't know the man behind the wig shall I say as such like that uh, so this book is his life story from growing up to how he chose Macmillan all the other charities he's supported uh, and in his own words a bit of dry Yorkshire wit thrown in there as well Fantastic and I read on the internet it said if you want to know why he has a pram you need to read the book Absolutely, and that's yeah. why I'm here. I can't reveal everything, hopefully. <laughs> Great. So is it quite a serious book? It's a mix, like I alluded to. So um, obviously there's a really big personal reason as to why John chose Macmillan. He lost his wife, sadly, to cancer, and he also lost his daughter uh, quite close to that, not to cancer, as is sometimes people might think. Uh, so I think it's really in the book in terms of the, the sad side of it. He does really talk about that in a lot more detail than he probably has done in, in other media interviews. But but also, like I mentioned, it does talk about the stories of him growing up, the antics he got up to. Uh, he's a Darnell lad, so uh, he, there was all sorts of different things he would do, trying to get into the cinema for free with his mates. Talks about how much he hated national service with an absolute passion. Um... Uh, and how he had some run-ins uh, with the chain of command. But again, that, that that's in the book. And also one of my favourite stories in the book is a, is a tale when he was coming back to meet his, his future wife-to-be, June, at the, the train station in Sheffield. He went and had a, a skin full in his, eye, in his words in the book uh, of, of drink uh, and was getting the train back, obviously, from London. And he said to his friend, can you wake me up when we get to Sheffield, lad? Uh, and he says, of course. And then 
when he got woke up. He says, ah, oh, are we at Sheffield then? He says, no, we're in Newcastle. <laughs> So, exactly. And he got back and he told me, June did not believe a word of it, to be honest with you. So that, that, I imagine that conversation was a bit of an interesting one. So there's all, all sorts of things, including obviously it talks about uh, his challenges for Macmillan carrying the Olympic torch. Uh, he was chosen, obviously, at 2012 to carry the Olympic torch through uh, Ecclesfield and and that, that moment for him, uh, what that was like. Uh, and there's certainly some pictures of him uh, in the book as well, lots of older ones, where he's actually got natural hair, not a green wig, I can say to people. So it's a really lovely book, and we're very thankful to RMC Books in, in Sheffield who actually gave their time for free to actually uh, co-write it with John because... Uh, John, in his own words, is, I'm no writer, and he certainly isn't uh, aware of what Microsoft Word is or anything like that, so we have to get help, and, we, and we're very fortunate that a lot of people have rallied around because of, well, of who he is. He's just amazing, isn't he, really? Yeah, brilliant. So I imagine it was quite a, a challenging process bringing the book into being. Were you quite instrumental in that? Absolutely, yes. Um, so when we began, uh, about a year ago, we set up a crowdfunding page, because to, to fund the print in the book, there's so many things that we can people are kind enough to give to free for John, but to print the book, we did have to obviously raise some money to do that. So we set up a crowdfunding website, and uh, we raised, we'd raised about £1,000 in about 10 days on that, and we needed to raise £3,000 in total. Uh, and then I was contacted by somebody who, uh, Paul Ellerton, who works for County Shop Fitting Services in, in Sheffield, and he, and he said that he'd seen John around and thought he was amazing and he'd like to donate the entire £3,000 to fund the printing of his wow. book. And if ever there's something that really demonstrates that the impossible is possible, that is that. You don't get phone calls like that. I, to be honest, I thought he was joking I just and I didn't believe him. I, I don't think I fully believed it until the money w we'd received the money to pay for it. So that was really the first stage, funding it. But then the next stage was obviously working with the designers to get it done uh, that way and getting it into retailers. Because Macmillan is a charity, we don't have charity shops. So we've entered into partnerships with lots of local retailers around the suits of Sheffield who all have been absolutely fantastic. And they're actually not going to take a penny from the book, which in this day and age, I think is a wonderful gesture. Yeah, fantastic. So can we just run through where the book's available? To absolutely. Buy? It's available at Waterstones uh, on Orchard Square, also in Meadow Hall there. It's available at the Sheffield Star, the Moor Market, Sheffield United Club Shop, Sheffield Wednesday Club Shop, and also in the Town Hall. And then also, if you'd like to buy it online, you can go to Amazon.co.uk and search John Burke Hill, and you'll find it there. That's fantastic. I think it's nine ninety nine. And it every is. Penny goes to Nine Macmillan. pounds ninety nine. Every penny goes towards John and his fundraising dream of raising one million for Macmillan. Um, so we're chatting about the new book, Distance No Object: Sheffield's Man with the Pram, and. You said John's hoping to raise a million pounds for Matt Millen. What will Matt Millen do with that? Well, with a million pounds, mm. my word. I think uh, first things, we'll celebrate John if he gets to that. Cause that's an <laughs> yeah. incredible amount to be raising. Um, so John's raised so far £350,000, which when he came and saw us uh, you know, 20 years ago, I mean, somebody mm. said, I'm going to raise you a quarter of a million pounds. Mm. What would you think? You'd think that's... Mm great good luck yeah hope you hope you can do it but he did that so if you think about it 27 pounds can fund a Macmillan nurse for an hour and then you equate that to what John's done mm. and that is just breathtaking so the amount of money that he's raised to support different things as I mentioned at the start of the interview we obviously the money that John raises funds Macmillan services in Sheffield so it could go towards anything really it could go towards a medical post it could go towards helping somebody with a grant who's struggling it could help giving somebody information it could fund a project it you know it, it really could be anything we we the main thing with john's money raised is that it's restricted locally and then the charity will spend it where the need is because that's the way that we very much operate is is that we work with all the local service and providers to find out where the needs are and then we'll look to um fill that need basically mm. uh, alongside them so lots of different ways uh, that that man has made a massive difference to sheffield Fantastic. But the book is available worldwide, isn't it? It's, it's well, on, it's on Amazon. Not, it's on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if, uh, well, I don't think we've had any overseas orders yet. We've only mm. gone a couple of days, but I'll let you know in a future interview if we do sell <laughs> some abroad. He has done the New York Marathon, so you never oh, know. Right. Good. <laughs> 
And you mentioned there are plans to set up a group in Sheffield to help John reach his target of raising a million. Yeah, I think this is basically, in John in his own words, he says, I'm not getting any younger. And what we want to try and do is to find a group of volunteers that will get together and organise events with the money raised going towards John's fundraising goal of raising that million pounds. So what kind of events they might organise would be pretty much, I would say, up to them. But if it doesn't include walking, I'd be amazed given what John (laughs) does, really. And we did do a couple of years ago a walk in based on John, which we called um, unofficially the Mad Walkers Walk, where we got people in green wigs and foam hands and we did a walk of about 10 miles and three miles for for people who are a bit younger. And it was a good laugh and it was great. So I think it's something that John himself would really like us to do again, but we just need to to find those people. So if there's anybody listening, feeling inspired, that they'd like to do something like that and help us help John raise that magic million for Macmillan, then, yeah, please do um, get in touch with me, really. Yeah, fantastic. Are there other ways we can volunteer as well? Absolutely, yes. Well, um, one of the most upcoming ones is um, we've got the new Sheffield 10K, for which uh, Macmillan is one of the fortunate to be one of the chosen charities for that race. And I'm desperately trying to find 20 people to help us marshal a point of the course. So part of being one of the, the linked charities is that you have to marshal a bit of the course. So, you know, pointing people in the right direction uh, so they don't run down the wrong road in terms of that, uh, but also in charge of the water station. So that's something, again, if anybody's listening, it's a Sunday morning at the end of October. I think it's the 30th uh, where we we desperately need helpers to 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 obviously fill that part of the course um other people help us on ad hoc basis because volunteering is very much around as and when you can help out so it could be uh somebody helps us when we get a collection at a local supermarket uh we have uh people we're always looking for people who can help us at events so for instance i can't be at every single event but we have people who go and represent us do a stall do a table raise awareness of what we're doing um so there's a really varied varied way i think it's very much about what your skill set is really because um my skills are my skills but if you've got something that's you know you're in business and you can use it to help a charity then yeah we'd certainly have a chat about it it's not a case of it's a job it's learning a bit more about you and then how you could support the charity really yeah, fantastic. So you're a senior fundraiser for <laughs> Macmillan. What do you find most challenging about working for Macmillan? Challenging? Um, I, uh, whew, that's a really good question. Uh, I think it's a challenging landscape because there are, I mean, we're in Sheffield. There's so many amazing charities in Sheffield and, and I live in Sheffield. So um, I think it's the challenging because people often will rotate their support. So the challenge for all of us is, is really is to continue to raise those funds to keep going. Because in Macmillan's case, 98% of our funding is through fundraising. So that stops. Mm. We won't be here. It's, mm. it's simple. So we are reliant on that. So it, that's perhaps one of the most challenging things for us all, really, is, is just keeping raising those vital funds. But the reward, as I say, um, which is why I've done the job for about six years now, is... is you meet people who've been affected by cancer will tell you something about Macmillan and how they've helped them at a really terrible time in their life and then they want to give something back and they do some incredible things do runs when they've never run before they'll walk up a mountain when they've never really done anything and that's the truly inspirational thing about working for a charity like Macmillan for me yeah fantastic and can we just run through the details of the book one more time it's Distance No Object. Yeah, it's Distance No Object, Sheffield's Madman with the Pram, and it's available for £9.99 at Waterstones and Orchard Square in Meadow Hall, the Moor Market, both football clubs, club shops, a Sheffield star in the town hall with every single penny going towards John's total. And not to forget, if you're on the computer right now, Amazon.co.uk, search John Burkhill, B U R K. H-I-L-L, gets his name spelt wrong all the time, uh, and you'll be able to 